Hey guys, so I'm gonna start a mini series called Building Anatomy, and it's just covering all the things I've learned while working at the structural firm. I've been picking up things as I've been working, and I wish I knew them earlier. So I started making a list on Notion, just a bunch of terms and definitions, just so I can familiarize myself with the lingo, with nomenclature, and it might seem obvious to some of you who might be into construction or engineering yourselves, but I either didn't learn them in school or I guess, you know, I just missed that class. Um, but yeah, some of them may be obvious. But I got this idea from this book I got. It's called Graphic Anatomy 2 Altier Bow Wow. It's by an architecture firm. It shows like the skeleton of a building with a section cut through it. And it looked really cool and it gave me the idea like, hey, like what if I started going in there and like and identifying each of the members there? Yeah, with all that being said, let's just get started. And this video is gonna be about headers. So what is a header? It's a beam over an opening that disperses the structural load to the outside of the opening to keep structural integrity. So for residential projects, specifically wood framing, um, you know, you typically see like a dimensional lumber, maybe some LVL, if it's a very large span. That's what a structural engineer does. They are sizing up beams, not just headers, but I'm focusing on just headers right now. Either change the size or the quantity of headers we're putting in there. There are a lot of things that go into calculating headers. And some of the factors could be like architectural drawings. How much space is there between two floors from like the first floor to the second floor? And maybe it's not just a normal door, you know? Maybe it's like a super wide open door, uh, like in this video, right? We're not dealing with a small opening here. You can actually see like this header that spans like such a wide opening. And this is in California, so there's their structures are definitely a little bit more beefy and designed to take a lot more like loads. Yeah, and the headers can be placed in different ways. It can either be a flush header or a drop header. Yes, like this YouTube channel called This Old House made a mini model explaining load bearing walls. They also demonstrate how a load bearing wall would be replaced or moved out of the way. And as you can see, they replace this wall with a drop header as well as a flush header. So it's definitely up to the client or architect to determine whether or not it's a dropper flush header. And that pretty much covers up typical headers, usually found in wood frame houses. I hope this was somewhat helpful or educational or entertaining, whatever you want it to be. Uh, by no means use any of the headers I named for your personal projects or whatever, because you need to calculate that yourself. And you know, loads and codes vary depending on where you are. So that's on you. Uh, but if you do it, let me know how it goes. <laughs> and with that, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.